Our guest today, folks, is Frank Marsalisi. Frank is the president of the Skyway Marina District. And Skyway Marina District, folks, uh, is in St. Petersburg, Florida. Frank, welcome to TFNN. Thanks for having me, Tom. Appreciate it. It's great having you on. You know, uh, bottom line is that, uh, of course, we get a lot of listeners in the Clearwater, Tampa, St. Pete area, but we've got a lot of listeners across the country. And, you know, I've seen what you've done with the Skyway Marina District, and you've done a phenomenal job, number one. Can you Thank tell you. the folks, like, how, what do you do? I mean, what do you do as the president? How did you put this together? Well, you know, it, I would love to say that I started it, but I, I really didn't. It was a foundation that started about six years ago. Um, personally, I'm born and raised in St. Petersburg, so I really had a vested interest. I live, work, and play in St. Pete, especially the South St. Pete area where the district's located. Um, so I saw, you know, the great potential in that area, and, and that's why I became the president to make sure that you know it continues this upward trajectory that we have. You know, that that location is prime real estate in St. Pete. It's close to all the beaches, close to downtown, close to the interstate. So, you know, we're able to go north and south, um, you know, uh, with ease. Um, what we are trying to do to the area is, is promote a lot of businesses that we are currently lacking. And you know, we'd love to have more sit down restaurants, more entertainment. Um, we do have quite a few complexes that are going up as, as I'm sure you're aware of. Um, which certainly is going to benefit the community as a whole. Now, you know, I and, and the website, folks, is skywaymarinadistrict.org, okay? And on when you get there, what you're going to see is that you have association meetings. We have, you know, you have uh, the Vitality Committee. You have the Art and Design Committee. You have the Marketing and Promotion. So in order to get all the folks involved, like, I, it's really cool how you have broken this down. Can you explain to the folks, like, why you broke this down and how you get all inclusive and, and that's what it seems that you've done here. For sure, you know, it's, it's um, I would like to say it's almost like a clock, right? You have all these cogs and so for it to, to really work, we have specialized the committees, right? So one's arts and design and that's gonna be the goal of how we want the district to look and feel and the actual experience of it. Uh, the organization is really just promoting the businesses within um, and so really the district as a whole, we, re we rely on the small businesses that are members, also the people that live in the community and other volunteers that really want their area to, to breathe the um, premier destination, St. Pete. Now, when you, when you have an organization like this, right, you know, the, the, and the bottom line, folks, we're, we're talking about a very large district that they're putting together. And as Frank said, this is prime real estate that has changed dramatically and, and, and is changing for the best dramatically. Are there grants or are there, is, are there monies that are available, whether it's on the, uh, you know, the, the city level, the county level or the federal level that you guys look at into consideration of how you can better that whole district? Absolutely. You know, I, obviously with COVID, things have changed a little bit, but before COVID, there were certain grants at the city and county and even state levels that some of our businesses were able to take advantage of. Um, and like I said, that changes on almost a weekly, monthly basis, I would say. Um, currently, right now, I, I'm not too aware of any uh, that are in existence. I know that some, some of the surrounding areas uh, do receive certain benefits, and, and that would be considered a you know, neighbor of the Skyway Marina District. Um, but the goal is to really improve the image and the living quality of South St. Pete. You know, unfortunately, South St. Pete gets a very negative connotation to it. But like I said, I'm born and raised there. I currently live there. South St. Pete really is beautiful. You know, it's the, the gateway of the Skyway Bridge and the gateway of a, the beautiful city as a whole. Obviously, I'm partial because I'm born and raised here. Um, but it, we do want to continue that, uh, you know, positive image of, of um, you know, our southern areas and um, and just improve with every business that we bring in. Well, it's so intriguing, you know, what you just said. I, I've been down here for 25 years, and I love the South Side myself. And mm -hmm. I think what happens, folks, and this is no matter what community you live in, the bottom line is if you walk the streets, which Frank grew up on the streets, there's a, there's a tremendous difference, right? As to sometimes like what the perception is versus you walk the streets, man, we have a great neighborhood, man. I mean, it, it just yeah. in general. Uh, it's so it's so intriguing what you just said there because it's alive, man. I mean, it's an alive neighborhood, and as you just said, uh, 
each neighborhood is basically doing the best job getting that, that whole thing better. The, the amount of new businesses, how, so how do you, and I've seen you out there marketing, how do you convince a new business that, hey, this is the place that we're getting better, it's going to be better, and take the risk on it with your money because guess what, we're gonna be behind you. Yeah, well, you know, at the inception of it, the selling idea was the location, right? Like I said, close, yes. to, the, close to the highway, close to the beaches, close to downtowns. Um, and we had quite a bit of land to to make improvements on. So that was the number one selling feature that we had. That brought the investors, that brought the apartment complexes. And now it's really, we're gonna have all these people, you know, four new apartment complexes are going into the area. Some of them are gonna be mixed use, um, you know, buildings where we're gonna have potentials for restaurants and entertainment. So now it's, hey, listen, we have the people now, we need to entertain them, we need to feed them. And we wanna make sure that that money, that local money, stays within the district or close to the district instead of them having to go, you know, elsewhere. Sure. Um, the other thing that our district is really a proponent of is the walkability of, of the Skyway Marina District, and you've definitely seen improvements of that with the, um, you know, the connection of the bike trails, the Pinellas Trail going to connecting our area to Gulfport, and once you're connected to the Pinellas Trail, you go all the way up north. Um, and so we really want to improve that uh, so it does feel like a more of a community than just a, a, a business district alone. We actually want it to be an active community center. Well, you got to love it. Well, listen, you, you've done a great job. We appreciate the education, and Thank I you. definitely look forward to having you on again and uh, seeing just how, how much better and uh, bigger you're getting on that Skyway District, man. Thanks, Tom. I really appreciate it. Okay, Frank, have a great one, man. Have a safe Thank one. You.